All right, what's going on? We are back in Pastime Tattoo. I am Ben Verhook. You're watching Tattooing with Ben. And today, another tattoo history lesson. Ooh, I love doing these. It's important to learn the history of tattooing. Keep these stories alive so people understand a lot of the flash they see today. Yeah, we repaint them with our own little spin on them but they are rooted from a lot of these legendary tattooers. I personally think it's really cool that a lot of these designs can live on today, and maybe it'll be cool to other people too. In today's video, we're gonna be learning about the legendary tattooer Amund Dietzel. Dietzel, Amund, Amund, I don't know. I may be fucking up his name. Here's how you spell it, Amund Dietzel. That's how I'm gonna say it. So if it's wrong, let me know in the comments. Let me have it, rip me a new one. So anyways, enough jibber jabber. Let's find out about Amund Dietzel. Amun Dietzel was born June 28, 1891 in Christiana, Norway, and he ventured into the world of tattooing in the early 20th century. His journey began similarly to a lot of legendary old tattooers as a sailor, and that just so happens to be when he got his first tattoo. Little did he know that that moment was the spark that ignited the passion within him. Traveling around the world as a sailor, Amun collected a lot of tattoos from different artists and cultures, each one adding to the fascination of the art form. His experience as a sailor exposed him to various different techniques of tattooing, which later he incorporated into his own style. In the early 20th century, tattooing was far from mainstream, and it was often associated with sailors, outlaws, and degenerates. Diesel was one of the early people who helped try to transform the perception of tattooing and tattooed people. He helped try to make it from being a taboo thing to an accepted art form. In the 1920s, Amund immigrated to the United States, where he set up his own tattoo parlor in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He quickly gained popularity amongst the sailors in the area. His tattooing style was a mix of American and European traditional, influenced by his diverse experiences while out traveling and cultural encounters. He mastered the art of hand poke tattoos, and then later adapted the modern electric style of tattooing that's used today, showcasing his versatility as an artist. His dedication to his craft has earned his respect not only from his clients, but also his peers and other artists. Some people even credit him to be the one that made the popular rose in the dagger design, which has become a staple in American traditional imagery even today. As his reputation spread, people wanted to get tattooed by him and traveled all across the country to do so. But Dietzel's contributions didn't stop there. He was also known for training and mentoring some really good tattoo artists back in the day too, passing his skill and knowledge to the next generation of tattooers. Amun Dietzel's legacy lives on through his body of work and the artists that he influenced after him. There's no doubt that Amun Dietzel has had a major impact on tattooing, even today. And that about wraps up our life and times of Amun Dietzel, historic tattooer. If you found this journey through tattooing's history as fascinating as I did, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see some more of these tattoo history videos? Let me know in the comments who you think I should do next. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get a notification every time I drop a new video because there's plenty more to come. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Uh, probably just doesn't like me because I used to be a piece of shit. I, I know I used to be a piece of shit. I don't give a rat's ass. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs>